Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. Today we're going to do some acrylic pouring on some canvas shoes. I got these from, Michael, from Michaels, I think they were like five bucks. Um, I took the laces out and so the first thing I'm doing is just taping off all the sides and the bottom where I don't want any paint to go. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do that on this other shoe as well. This is a contract, contractor grade masking tape. It's going as heavy duty as possible. I'm going to finish that and then I will go over the materials we're going to use. Okay, so we've got these all taped up. Um, so in terms of materials, I'm going to use my normal mixture with Floetrol and acrylic paint. But I'm also going to add a little bit of this, which is Golden's GAC 900. It is specifically a fabric painting medium. And I'm just going to show you real quick. It's very, very liquidy. It's like water. Super liquidy. Um... So I'm going to add a little bit of this into my mix instead of water. And so that should help it. Uh, the biggest problem with pouring on a fabric is the flexibility. So this should hopefully help with that and uh, help it be a little more durable. We'll get all the paints mixed up and be right back. Okay, so I've got my colors all mixed up here. I'm using white, purple, teal, and blue. And I've tried it before where I literally just directly poured on there. That didn't work so well, so I'm actually going to use a paintbrush to help me get it where I want. I'm not totally sure. I'm For now, I'm leaning towards actually leaving the tongue white, but we'll just go ahead and get started and play it by ear, basically see what happens as we go. And I am going to speed this up because I plan on taking my time, and there's not too much more to explain other than I'm going to paint these shoes. So here we go. All right, so I was intending to use a paintbrush most of the way, but as you can see, I resorted back to my pouring ways. <laughs> um, and I did have a couple, I got a drop here accidentally. Well, then I got a drop inside. So moral of the story, tape off the things you don't want to paint. <laughs> but anyways, I'm not gonna worry about it. So we'll see how these dry. I'm very curious and I'll take the tape off. We'll put the laces back in. Um, and hopefully they dry awesome. The one thing I can definitely say is that no one else will have any shoes, even remotely like this, anywhere in the world. <laughs> so they're going to be very unique. Let's go ahead and I'll kind of do a little show you the sides and everything. Um, there you go. So I'm pretty excited about this. Should be dry. Um probably by tomorrow or maybe even earlier. We'll see how good of a taping job I did. I'll get them all cleaned up and then I'll show you the final product. All right guys, here they are all dry. I did actually a relatively decent job of taping. I am super happy with these. I think they look awesome. Um, so I was gonna leave the tongue white but then I got that dang spot of paint right there, and I just know that that's going to drive me crazy. Uh, also, the line here along the bottom isn't super clean. So I am going to do a little more to these. I'm going to paint the tongue, I think, a solid color, probably the blue. And then I think I'm actually gonna take a, a marker and go around this, just this line so I can get kind of a clean design. If you guys would like to see that, uh, let me know and I'll do a part two of this video. 
And then otherwise, I'm definitely going to come back in a couple months and see how they held up in like durability and comfort. But for now, I want to try them on and see how they look and how comfortable they are. Okay, so this is kind of funny because I'm videoing myself. <laughs> um, but my main question was if they would be any more like stiff or less flexible with the paint on and they seem totally fine. They're actually super cute and comfortable. So there you go, acrylic pouring on shoes, success. Let me know if you guys wanna see that part two and I will see y'all next time.